Hi, this is Ken Gidge again, and this is Acho Art Sales. I am a believer since all sorts of monies have been taken away from the arts, us here at Excess National, myself and a lot of other people, are going to be doing these shows, art show, art sales. Uh, introducing to local artists, different types of arts, photography. This lady right here has something very fascinating, which I haven't really seen a, a great deal of. And her name is Kathy Papadias. Is that correct? Catherine Papadias. Catherine yep. Papadias. Now you have a, is, did you make that? This I did. Little... Yeah. It's a sea glass charm with a sterling silver charm on No, top. glass as in? Found with, from the beach. From the beach. Yep. And your work is called? Uh, well, my company is called Charlotte by the Sea, and we use all genuine sea glass and natural beach found wood and seaweed. And now, I know uh, there are a few artists who can make their money completely doing this. What do you, what do you, what's your profession? I'm a teacher full time. I teach fourth grade math and science in Boston. Where in Boston? In Dorchester, Massachusetts. You go back and forth? Yes, every day from Nashua. Wow. And uh, math and science? Math and science, yes. It's a bilingual school, so we divide the kids up, and they switch half-day ELA and half-day math and science. Well, you, you will always have a job because they're always looking for, for math teachers and, and uh, science teachers, I, I'm sure. But this is called Sea Glass. Now, just... Hold your pendant again, just a little. That is glass, and over it is a... Is a conch shell in sterling silver. It's a what shell? A conch shell. It's a type of shell found at the beach. Okay, is that a real... Like my bracelet. No, is that a real shell? Nope, this is just a sterling silver charm. Oh, okay. Yeah. All but right. Some of our art includes real shells. Okay, now show your bracelet again. This is... All tiny pieces of sea glass that we found at various beaches, and then put on. Wow, that's really fascinating. So yeah. obviously, every single every single piece is original. Obviously, uh, every piece is original and different. There's not one that's the same. I now, do, have you taken this? Do you 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 get this stone and you polish it or? Nope. These are when you pick them out of the water or find them on the sand. Some pieces are very rough. Some pieces are very smooth. Uh, we use mostly the smooth pieces in our jewelry. Um, some of the rougher pieces are in our framed glasses. Um, but over time, you'll see like some of these pieces are so smooth they have okay. no sharp oh, edges. So. Okay, let me see that. Wow. So you don't sand, you don't uh, polish these or? Nope. Genuine from the beach. This is the come original? Yep, this is freshwater pearls with the sea glass and these are some very rare colors. And does your husband do the drilling? He does, yes. That's the part that he takes part in. So he, in a sense, helps the artist. This mm -hmm. looks, looks, it's just tough work also to drill a stone uh, or um, shell. It definitely is a very long process, and you have to know the right techniques so that the glass does not break. Now, the, uh, this is just strictly glass. You know, this is very fascinating. I, I'm, I am, well, I'm, I think it's great, but you find these stones. I mean, so you go to obviously a lot of beaches, and uh, oh, put, can you hold that one up? Sure. Yes, definitely. Uh, and turn it a little. Now, this is uh, the the bracelet. Uh, of this obviously is not you didn't make this nope this is sterling silver plated and then we just put our oh, glass wow. on so top so it comes off yep, yeah, nice so, and easy okay so it comes off like that instead of at the bottom something so i touch mine all day when i'm teaching or when i'm not at the beach something to remember the summer days that will be coming ahead especially now that it's snowing out you know these well, are nice to wear and just continually feel them. Some people believe that stone, uh, some stones have good luck and put a good aura over you. And uh, these are stones that I'm, I don't know, millions of years old, I guess. I don't know about millions, but definitely hundreds or so. Um, we've heard that the blue glass was off old cruise ships when they kept pe Pepto-Bismol bottles. Um, what? Pepto-Bismol bottles are what made the old blue. So no. 
Yeah. That's, so that's Pepto. That's visual. where the dark blue this comes from. This is going to drive me crazy now. Like you don't find, that's called cobalt blue. In yeah. The, the world of sea glass, um, which is becoming a much harder so this So this find. is not Pepto Bismol bottles. Those are from there, yes. Just like the brown are from old beer bottles. Um, the white might be from wine bottles or glass that used to be off ships. Well, I didn't know that. Now, I find that extremely fascinating. Yeah. So it, it's obviously uh, cruise ships throw pepto bismol bottles over, and then over hundreds of years or whatever, they, they come up on shore. Yep, yep. And that's like, this is you know, a great piece that shows all the different colors. Red is the rarest color to find for sea glass. Why? Uh, just because how often do you see red glass? I don't Even know. Used. Um, so it was probably in vases before that maybe were thrown over or thrown into when they used to be able to dump into the Well, that seas. one, it's, it, that's interesting because uh, there's a heart shaped in there. So sea glass, now I get it because I thought sea glass meant stone. No, this is actual glass that was dumped into the ocean, broken, tumbled over time. So that's why it's so smooth. And now we pick it up and turn it into art. How did a nice lady like you get involved with Pepto Bismol bottles? Uh, my family actually had collected sea glass and and I mean that in a very nice way. Don't mis yeah. don't because what we wish to do is help artists. We all know they're taking so much money away from the artist. This is very unique. Thank you. So it's sea glass. I thought honestly, I thought these were stones. No, this is actual glass. Like you might be looking at this piece and this could be out of a bottle that was dumped into the ocean 50 years ago or more. Would it, would it be? Like these brown glass is probably from old beer bottles. Beer bottles? Beer bottles, the brown. Wow. And you can see some of them are a lot smoother than others. Some of them do have some of the rough edges still. And I can see you, that you have artwork in the back. Is yep. that your artwork? Um, it's actually my mother-in-law. She was an art teacher in Hollis for many years and now does the art that I put in. That's, that's really fascinating. I didn't know sea Pen glass. I, I, uh, do you ever write on sea glass? Do you we ever? do. We do calligraphy. Um, if we have like an angel and someone wants the name on it for a christening or a baptism gift, um, we'll write beach words on there. Um, we do hearts for anniversaries, and we'll write the names in them as well. Can personalize any gift. Hearts like groups of sea glass. Yep. Yeah, I don't have one out on the table, but like we formed this one into the circle, we can form sea glass into hearts. Yeah, and right in the middle there is a design. Yep. And in the middle, we sometimes will use shells. Like this is. Um, another popular piece where we view shells and sea glass to make a turtle. Yeah, there's your turtle and there's the shell, obviously, and the green glass would be from where? What? I don't know, wine bottles, vases, the, the, little now, bit of everything. Are there many people who do this type of work? Uh, there's a lot of people who pick up sea glass. I honestly have not seen other people put it into frames, and when we go to craft fairs and sell to local gift shops, they are surprised and just think it's wonderful. Because a lot of people do collect sea glass and put it into vases, but then don't know what to do with it. They kind of just have it displayed in a small container, um, where this way we kind of bring it back to life and people can enjoy looking at it, seeing it in a different way. Now, how did you get involved with this? Um, so, like this I said, is really original, by the way. Uh, if anyone wants to know, I mean, you're going to have to see this, and Richard will be putting up uh, uh, always pictures of this. Uh, this is really important work. This is very original. Not only are they placed in a, in a Pacific way, which means that is an art, but finding the glass to do that and putting it in such a way. This is very, very unique. I have not seen work like this, and I do hope that people, wherever you are and they see you, you make sure you explain. Pepto Bismol bottle, I like that one. That's uh, it used to be a blue bottle. Uh, you know, wine bottles, etc. I never thought. I thought probably a lot of people will think, unless you tell them, that this is stone. Yeah, we actually started putting it in frames. We started the jewelry and had a jewelry line for a while. 
Um, Let's see. This is your jewelry line, as you yep, showed Yep, and we us. do earrings, necklaces, bracelets. We can do custom orders if people bring in their sea glass to us. We can make um, certain designs with it. But we found that the most common sea glass is the white sea glass, um, which comes from most glasses, bottles. Um, and we had a lot left over, and then one day we decided, hey, let's see what else we can do with it. So we put it in a frame, and these seagulls, or some people call them sandpipers, have been the biggest seller. We put natural wood with it and seaweed as well. Um, and people just love the little faces on them, um, how each one is so different. This is another one with three that looks completely different. Three different pieces, um, seaweed, And if, if people wood. will look, this is all from the sea. Mm -hmm. Every bit of it, except those the eyes and the hand -drawn. birds up there. Uh, yep. We were using beach rocks for the eyes, but we found with people traveling, if they brought this frame home to a different location, we didn't want it to off. break within the glass because it's within a frame. So now we draw on the eyes. Yeah, you but don't want, you don't want I almost feel with... like each one, each bird looks a little different because of how okay. the marker goes on to it. Um, so. Now, you, I guess you travel around to find sea glass. You were married in York, Maine. Is this correct? We were. Yep, we were married. Okay, so is that where you find most of the glass, or is this where you look for it? We go up to York um, every chance we get to find the sea glass and also to stock up on the extra beech wood. Um, we also will go down to the Jersey Shore just because that's where I summered when I was a child. Um, what, is there any particular place where you'll find more, let's say, of white or blue? I can't or? give away my secrets. I wouldn't have any to make. Oh. <laughs> I see. I didn't know. Yes, but it, I'm telling you, sea glass is definitely becoming harder to find, um, and you're finding a lot more of these smaller pieces instead of finding some of the large ones. So when you find a large one or a colored one, which is blues, greens, reds, aquas, you definitely want to keep them and make them into a very special piece. So it's harder to find, and is that because more people are doing it, or are they just... Depleting. I think less people are dumping into the waters because of pollution, which is a good thing, but a bad thing for my company. <laughs> so in other words, this, this type of work uh, will have a potential lifespan. So if anybody buys a piece, this is kind of like historic too. Um, I don't think they'll see it as much. Um, we've been buying a lot of personal lots. Um, so that we can continually get in the pieces that we you need. You buy sea glass from other people? Yep. So if somebody, so you know, in other words, if you go to the internet, you can buy sea glass? Um, I don't think you can do it on the internet. You know, just word of mouth or if we're in a store and someone will see ours, they'll be like, oh, I have so much of this color. Would you want it? Or they want to see their pieces go into something because they do. They just keep it in frames or have it around their house, but they don't know what else to do with it where this actually... You know, something you can put up on People your do come to you and ask you to do particular types of work? Yep. They bring us in their pieces. If they have a nice piece, like the red heart that was in one, um, is something that, as a collector of sea glass, that's like a very valuable piece that you'd want to see up on your walls. Just well, I'm, a, I'm an artist myself. I do different types of work than this. Uh, I do abstract work. But there's one thing about artists, and I think people, especially artists, must remember that everything has a story. And I've done photographers and, and other types of artists, and they all have stories. And I think the, this is really important. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I am, I'm, not, I'm certainly not speechless, that's for sure. I mean, I'll always have words. But this is a very, very original uh, type of work. Do you make larger? This is probably... An 8x10 is probably our largest. Um, we do do some larger ones, like an 11 by 17 um, but those take a lot more sea glass and do cost um, a little bit more. Um, but it really depends on how many pieces of sea glass are in there, what colors are in there, what the background is going to be, um, because each piece is so different. Now, Richard Gagnon, uh, uh, the producer of the show, and... Uh, you know, god of Access Nashua, uh, 
he saw your work at the YMCA. So you were showing at a craft fair at the YMCA. Yeah, I actually just started doing craft fairs this season um, and got into it a little last minute. But yeah, he came around to the table at a very busy time, which was nice. And we've had a great response. People just stand at our table and can't decide between pieces because each one's so different. Even if they're holding two seagull pieces, they're like, this face looks so cute, but these ones look like they're talking to each other. So hearing their comments has been great. So you're making a living or a partial living. Yeah, doing we it. also do wholesale up in Maine to a lot of gift shops. So that's been nice as well. So if we went up there, would probably see your work. Other people display sea glass also? Um, yeah, in their houses, a lot of pieces, for some reason, end up in uh, people's bathrooms. I guess their bathroom is bathrooms? very... Bathrooms? Their bathrooms, a lot of... That's where, at craft shows, a lot of people will say, oh, this will look so nice in the bathroom. I guess they have beach bathroom designs. Um, you know, we have small frames like this that we've made into ornaments, and some people say that they'll post put this right next to their bathroom or inside their bathroom, so... I don't know if uh, a lot of bathrooms are beach themed. Well, people beach people houses. do do put my work in their garage. Oh, okay. In, some, <laughs> in their closet, downstairs. <laughs> okay. You know, in, in their attic. Yeah. That's if they make the mistake. Yeah. But this is in the bathroom. I like that. Well, I think a lot of it goes into beach houses, and a lot of people have been buying it for gifts for those beach goers that they just don't. What know type what to of get. person buys this type of work? Honestly, anyone who loves the beach. And loves to is look at Is a particular type of individual? Because this is original work. Any particular type of person, uh, age-wise? I, I don't know, because we make things for everyone. Like, we found a lot of guys like our sailboats designs. Um, women love the seagulls. They love the turtles. Um, we do hair designs. Like, I don't know if you can see my starfish, but for bridal parties, um, the jewelry. Okay, turn your head again. Okay, so that, did you find that or did you purchase that? Um, this is a sea star that we purchased. It's a sugar starfish um, that we purchased. We did not find this one, but we find most of them. The small ones are really hard to okay, find. Okay, so you also put a little pin in it, so. Yep. And we do different, um, like bobby pins, hair barrettes, a little bit of everything. like. If you want to wear something from the beach, we do it. If you want to look at something from the beach, we will make it. Can you hold that one up, please? Yes. That's, that's a very, very... Oh, that's it's a lot. a very unique I one. I'm looking at, at it upside down, and I'm thinking because, you know, it looks abstract, and that's what I do. I say, hey, this is good. This is good. But yeah. that's a, a blue lobster. A blue crab, A actually. blue crab. Yep. Okay. And then a lot of people, when a they're walking on... A and uh, what are the ones underneath? Um, so these are actually broken shells that a lot of people just toss back in or think that, oh, it's a broken shell on the beach. We pick it up and we'll make it into something beautiful. And then we have brown sea glass for the eyes and white sea, sea glass for the legs. Um, it's a beautiful piece of work. And everything's signed with a CC um, for Charlotte by the Sea. And that's the name of your company, it Charlotte is. by the Sea. And they can get you by? Uh, we're on Facebook, so you can friend us. Or you can go to www.charlottebythesea.com. Well, we have a couple more minutes, probably about five more minutes. Okay. Uh, I really find it fascinating. Uh, this is really, truly original work. I, I haven't seen that. I mean, I've been up to a lot of places in Maine, and this probably doesn't interest me. So I don't look at it. But... When you take a good look at it, I would say that anyone who takes a look at this work and, and knows the history of this work, uh, that really sells it. Yeah, it does. And I think each one, if I think, you know, oh, I don't really like how this one came out, and then I bring it to a craft fair or I'm showing somebody at a private showing, they just love it and they'll look at it in a different light. Um, you know, some of the backgrounds that I choose, I'm like, ah, oh, it might be too dark, or maybe I wanted a lighter one. And just everyone has a different style. I have never met an artist who has not myself, photographers, everyone else, who said, ugh, I just don't like this one, and I don't think it's going to sell. And then you take it out, and yeah. it becomes a hit. Yeah. It, I've had a great response. Honestly, we just started with the jewelry, just kind of making it for fun and making it for family and friends. And 
a lot of people picked up on it, but these just seeing people's faces and seeing where they put them in their houses and who they're going to give it to and making each one is just so fun because each one becomes a little bit different. So. What's interesting about this also is, is that this is truly original and there's only one of a kind mm -hmm. in these. Yeah. Yeah. I, you can't find the same beech wood again. You can't find the same piece of glass. Even when I'm trying to make a heart, I'll need a perfect small, you know, circular round piece, and I'll have to wait a couple of weeks until I find that piece to finish the artwork because, you know, all the other bigger pieces I have might not fit. I take it you work on a number? Yep, at a time. Um, you know, I might need a perfect shell for one of them or another piece of wood. With How many a little are, bit of, do you work on at a time? Four or five or? Um, down in my studio, I probably have four or five going. I've also started doing a lot of greeting cards and Christmas cards and Christmas ornaments, um, which were a big hit around the season. Um, so I still am finishing up on some of those too. So you have a, a studio and your husband in, does the drilling and yeah. and yeah. Uh, probably you use obviously glues and, and things of that sort. Yep, a lot of it is industrial strength glue. Um, all of our beading is on sterling silver. All of our frames are hardwood. Um, we do the matting as well. Yeah. Well, this is this is uh, I like this work. Uh, it's uh, very, very different, and you've just started basically selling it within the last year yep, or so? Yeah, we started or? our company within the last year, uh, but we've been... How did you get the wholesale? I, I'm, I'm asking you questions probably another artist would ask you, not a person sitting down and interviewing you. Uh, so How when we got you... married up in Maine, I was wearing some of my jewelry um, when we went to a gift shop. And one of the owners loved it and was like, oh, where did you get that from? We've been wanting to sell some sea glass, but sea glass is so expensive when it's made into jewelry. Um, and we told her that we did it. And so we started giving them lots of jewelry at wholesale prices. And then just last summer when we started putting it into frames, uh, we went up there and showed it to them. And word of mouth went to another store um, all the way up to like Kenny Bunkport um, and then down to Portsmouth that once people see it, they fall in love with it so yeah. well it's uh it, there are plenty of art forms uh this to me is as i've you know repeated myself a number of times is extremely original and i certainly can see uh the reasons why uh, and, and it's just not the glass it's obviously the way it's uh, the designs because this is in a, in a sense of abstract uh, this one right here is is pretty abstract, I would pineapple. say. Pineapple. Yeah. yeah, that's a pineapple. Yep. <laughs> okay, I thought it was something else. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> see, people see. So, and this. Oh. Uh, my point is, is, is that it's just not you get the glass and you just put it down anywhere. You've got to. And this one. Let's want to show this one one more time. Oh, I think this one is is something that's quite unique. Yep. And These seagull ones are probably the biggest seller and the ones that people love to give as gifts or keep for themselves. Really? Yep. Just now, you said the, the white glass is the glass mostly? You it's one of the out. most common pieces of glass, the white and the brown. What are, would the white be? I would think it was old glass, like from, you know, like drinking cups, um, old Coke bottles. Well, um, Coke bottles, yeah. Pepsi well, bottles, wine bottles. Well, the, the, and you can see some are very ones. thick, where some pieces might be very thin, depending on what it's from. Do you know the history? I mean, it's these things are thrown overboard. You would think, how long does it take to? I don't know how long because each piece, like sometimes we find pieces that are very rough, and then you know, a hundred feet. Later, we'll find a piece that's super smooth. So did they fall in at the same time? Did they not? Um, certain areas of the beach will have more sea glass than other areas. So there would be different tides, yep. et cetera. Yep. In certain locations, um, you know, farther down south during the beaches, we might find more of the blues and greens. Or up here, we find a lot of the browns and the Down whites. south, they need more Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> Maybe. That's, that's the reason why. And up here, we drink more beer. You yes. know, I, I dig it like that. And it... Uh, it all goes into the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, uh, 
I really like this. And you're a math and science teacher. Oh, my I, God. And you drive all the way to Boston, Dorchester, where yep. you work. Yep. So yeah, you, you and your husband, when you get away, you've got to go yes, to the ocean. Yes, I'm always begging him, like, bring me back to the beach, please. And he enjoys it, too. It's just a time to get away. And, you know, we do a little work by having to pick up stuff. And people look at us like, why are they picking up wood? Or why are they picking up these broken pieces of shells? But little do they know that it can become something beautiful. Well, uh, we have about one more minute. If you would like to tell people how they can get in touch with you. Sure. Um, my cell phone is 603-582-2691. Do that again. 603-582-2691. We have a website, charlottebythesea.com. You want me to spell it? Yes. C-H-A-R-L-O-T-T-E-B-Y-T-H-S-E-A.com. My middle name is Charlotte. That's why we do you sell it. much off uh, the website? Yes. Yeah, we do. We get a lot of orders off there. And a lot of people will email us and say, you, Do you say I on like your website piece. that you sell it wholesale? Um, we don't, but maybe we should. No, don't. Oh. If, you're get, if you're getting it retail, <laughs> don't sell it wholesale. Okay. Or whatever you yeah. do. I mean, we do not want, we want you to stay an artist. We do not want you to be a machine. Yes. We do not want you to you know a conveyor belt. I think this one well, will work. Well, wholesale is more work. like five to ten pieces at a time. So we'll give them a smaller discount just because they are buying bulk for their gift shop. And we'll give them pieces on Sunday. And by the following Saturday, they're calling us saying, oh, it was a busy weekend. We're sold out. Please come back up. I have a feeling that uh, creative people out there are, are going to be going to the ocean and, and finding sea glass and possibly doing this. But we will not tell them where your good places are. Exactly. Exactly. Well, so. Okay. I want to thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, um, my name is Ken Gidge, and this has been Art Show Art Sales. We will be doing one artist every week. We think it's very important that you get to see the artist. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Art's really important, and the first thing it seems to go money-wise is from the arts. And uh, I believe, and and. Uh, if a community bought original art, and this is this art is actually very, uh, very fair in price. And if you bought an original piece of art and you hung it in your house, if we could get 25% of any community to do that, we would become an art mecca. Uh, so please uh, see this type of work. Go to art shows, buy original art. Let's uh, help everyone out, and art is very, very important. But most of her work was in the bathroom, which I don't understand. But no, this is really, again, thank you very much. This has been Ken Gidge, and this has been Art Show, Art Sales.